What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful midweek Wednesday. I'm doing pretty good myself. I come across this article that comes out of the hill. Nearly one in three Americans say it may soon be necessary to take up arms against the government. Okay. <sighs> it's not a good idea. Although I can understand why they would feel that way. You know, because um with the uh, food, you know, uh, shortages, uh, mandatory this and that, housing problems, you know, people being, you know, put out of their homes, all kinds of stuff is going on. I can understand that, you know. Uh, they see what happened in January 6th of 2021 with the insurrection. It was a fail. It was a failure, okay? It did not work. Also, may I add, the government has weapons far more advanced than the weapons that are out here on the street that everyday citizens have. You know, uh, they have um, guns that if, like, they were hit a person with that gun or whatever, that it would totally eviscerate that person's body. In other words, saying, you wouldn't need to even have a casket. <laughs> there would be no need for a burial for you, period. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying they got guns like that. They just don't tell you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, no, this wouldn't be a good idea, but I can understand your frustration, you know? And of course we know the people that are talking like this because it's not us. We're not talking like that. And um, hell, look how we've been treated for years. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Let's get into this particular article right here. Um, it says, a majority of Americans say the US government is corrupt and almost a third say it may soon be necessary to take up arms against it, according to a new poll from the University of Chicago Institute of Politics. Two thirds of Republicans and independents say the government is corrupt and rigged against everyday people like me according to the poll compared to 51% of liberal voters. And I totally agree with this. It is corrupt. We know it's corrupt, you know. 28% of all voters, including 37% of gun owners, agree. It may be soon necessary. Well, it may be necessary at some point soon for citizens to take up arms against the government, a view held by around 35% of Republicans and around 35% of independents, one in five Democrats concurred. The findings came, well, the findings come after a House committee investigating the January 6, 2021 riots at the U.S. Capitol wrapped up its final hearing for the summer, seeking to place former President Trump at the heart of the efforts to overturn the 2020 election, okay? So this is what this is all about, too, you know what I mean? They mad because they never got Trump back in the office, you know? Uh, <laughs> and, you know, like I said, as far as I'm concerned, it don't make no, you know, difference who they get in the office. Things are going to, die, going to happen the way it is prophesized for it to happen. It's going to even get worse than this. A lot of people don't understand that. It don't make no difference who you put in there. You know, and also for us so-called black people, we should already know better. How many times have, you know, uh, Democrats or whoever lied to us saying they're going to do this and do that, but never come back? You know, once they get the vote, no tangibles whatsoever. You understand what I'm saying? They should have learned a lesson this last time with Biden. Okay, but a lot of people got that white man savior syndrome. You know, a lot of black people do. And you just can't get that shit out of them. That's just what it is. But let's continue. The panel also said Trump readily accepted and even encouraged the attack from his supporters, watching violence play out on television for nearly three hours before finally making a statement telling them to go home. Despite the hearing, Trump still enjoys broad supporting, well, broad support among Republicans who are more concerned about inflation, education, 
and crime than they are about January 6th, okay? Uh, about 56% of Americans say elections are fair and accurate, but that number falls to 33% among Republicans, according to the Chicago University poll. The division between cons uh, conservatives and liberals across the country is only growing, the poll shows. And a quarter of Americans say they have lost friends over politics. <laughs> I can tell you another thing you've lost f uh, friends over and relatives too. And that was the dragon breath that they just passed out. That's got people going crazy as hell all over the damn place. Shootings. You understand? That's another damn thing. Shootings everywhere. You see what I'm saying? But I digress. In conclusion here, it says more than 70% of Republicans and more than 70% of Democrats both agree the other side are generally bullies who want to want to impose their political beliefs on the, those who disagree. And half of all Americans believe the other side is misinformed about politics because of where they get their information and news, the poll found. The University of Chicago Public Opinion Strategies, Benson Strategies Group poll once was conducted May 19th to May 23rd among a thousand registered voters. The margin of error is plus or minus 3.53% points. Okay. Yeah. Uh, whatever all that shit mean. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is this. If they go up against the government, you know, point guns and all that kind of stuff, the government will unleash their um, military against the American people. And there's going to be a lot of people that don't want these things to happen. That's going to pay the price for what these idiots get out here and do. You see what I'm saying? If you don't like the way the system is, my best advice to you is just stop fucking participating in it. You understand what I'm saying? Let the motherfucker collapse. If you do that, then you know what I'm saying? That's a better way to fight. And get out here and get yourself killed and get other people who weren't even for the shit. You know what I mean? Killed. Because that's just what's going to happen. Yeah, you may get a few of them, but when it's all said and done, you ain't going to get nothing achieved. You know what I'm saying? Just like they didn't, you know, in the insur insur insurrection, you know, on uh, January 6th of last year. You know? I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular article right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.